Ken and Brenda had the best of it. They got together when the Beatles split. Ken and Brenda have a Hessian wall, a B-Day in the bathroom, a Hockney in the hall, 800 albums, two singles and a stereo. They haven't got a video. They haven't got a video. Ken met Brenda when he broke with Pam on a yoga course on a Welsh ashram. Ken and Brenda took a magic bus and went to live on an Israeli Yonki Butts, but they both got bored with it and dysentery also. They didn't get a video. They didn't get a video. Now Ken's a poly lecturer with thinning hair and Brenda's into acupuncture and despair. The daughter's called Tamsin, the son's called Luke. Tams is into hip hop, Luke is into glue. And Ken is wishing he could get into the au pair, but no. Now I've got a video. Now I've got a video. Ken and Brenda asked me round to dine. Lentils, carrot cake, and dandelion wine. I was so impressed with their commitment to the left of how come Marx is wonderful and property is theft that just before the camembert and after the Bordeaux I ran off with the video <laughs> There's a... Comedy hand. There's a well-known phrase or saying I had a few drinks. I use it myself all the time. I'm sorry about last night, darling, but I had a few drinks. And you get it in courtrooms as well. I'm very sorry, Your Honour. I've been out with the boys. We had a few drinks. And set fire to Wolverhampton. That was just one of them. <laughs> and I reckon it's got to be the same with God. When you meet God and say to God, what was life all about? He'll say, I don't know, I had a few drinks. <laughs> don't give me a hard time, I was drunk, I'll tell you what happened. I was sitting home, I was bored. I looked out the window, I saw this little blue ball hanging in the sky. And I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll get that little blue ball and I'll cover it all over with little intelligent bipeds and then, to screw them up, I'll give them a sense of logic. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll make them all different colours, that'll give them something to talk about. I expect that. And I'll, uh, uh, I'll make eight or nine different sexes and say there's only two. And, uh, <laughs> I'll get these ones, I'll get these ones, I'll call them, I'll call them Hebrews and I'll give them a really hard time, forever. <laughs> and I'll say that they're the chosen people. <laughs> I won't tell them what they've been chosen for, though, will I? No. Of course, I regretted it the following day, but what could I do? You know, I'm sorry I had a few drinks. I drink a lot. Do you know why? Because it's a boring job being God. It's very boring. The point about being God is I'm omniscient. You know what I mean? I know everything. I know everything. It really screws up your Christmas for a start, is it? <laughs> people, people keep coming up to me and saying, Hey, God, guess what? I say, I know. <laughs> That's why I drink so much, because I try to forget. But I can't forget, because even when I forget, I still know. And what really gets up my nose is, there is no conclusive proof of my existence. <laughs> I could just be a figment of Cliff Richard's imagination. <laughs>